Hi, this lecture is about an open source rank with an open source vector database that is quadrant and with an open source LLM that is a Mistral. So let's jump in of how we would do. So overall flow is that we'll take a document, we'll break the document into chunks, the chunks are converted to embeddings and insert each chunk with embeddings and metadata into a collection of quadrant. In the next slide, we saw that one document is divided into various chunks, as you can see. Let's jump into the code and see of how this is done. So these are the different parameters. You give the file path, give the model name for the embedding. We have used this model. We give the URL of the quadrant server. The quadrant dimension of the collection is 384. The collection name is search engine and the metric name is cosine. First is the function to get the PDF data. That means you give the file path and it reads all the data of the PDF and, and puts it into text. Next is we do a get chunks in which each PDF is broken up into different chunks. The code will be checked into GitHub and I will share the GitHub link. So this is the model which we would be using for the embeddings. So this is the thing. And then what we would do is that we'll connect to quadrant. And for each of the files, what we do is that we'll get the chunks as we have seen. And then we'll up, append the, uh, the payload, which is a token, the file name and the type is a PDF. And then we convert this text which we have got into embeddings and then we chunk it and and then batch and put it into quadrant so this is a file which is which is being put into here this is a chapter for animal kingdom dot pdf and we have divided them into 73 chunks so we can see this in action here this is the search engine and this is a payload that we have got and this is a vector so this is how the file name, the token, and the type, the PDF. So this is all inserted into, into quadrant. Now what we do is that we will do a rag with this open source database that is quadrant and the open source Mistral. So how do we do it is here. So user query is converted to embeddings and we search quadrant and return the top n matches. We send the match results to Mistral and then the prompt and the context is sent to Mistral and we get the response from Mistral. So what we have done is that we have utilized a Kaggle Net notebook for that. And here it is to be noted that here we are using GPU and if you see here, we are using a GPU T4 cross 2, two GPUs that we are using. And this is how we are using. The Mistral is already in the models in, in um, Kaggle. So if you go here and the trending model, the first is Mistral. So that is how it is said. And now if I go into here, what I will do here is that in the notebook, you can also do it in Colab. Uh, so you you do this, you pip install the quadrant, client, uh, sentence transformers and accelerate. And then what you do is that you get this. So what we have done is that we, our server is in this URL. So you would do it in your server and put the public IP of this URL. This is the same thing, the dimension, the collection, the metric that we have used. Then what we do is that we put in the user input, say we have put describe platyhel minthis and then we get the client and once we get the client here, we encode it, that means we convert into embeddings here and then what we do is that we do a search and we get the top five results from here, we get the context and then what we do is that we get the mistral uh, seven billion parameter instruct from here and it is there in Kaggle. 
and then we get the auto tokenizer we do the prompt in this manner answer based on the context which we have got the context from here which is a five uh, search results that we have got it from here we put the user input also we get the messages and the role is user the content is prompt the model inputs is that we apply the chat template we generate the ids and then we get the decoded value from here and that's about it from this side and then we can see that it is giving this answer which is after the instruction ends so this is the answer which is quite a good answer so this completes our session with a rag with a fully open source solution with an open source vector database quadrant and with an open source llm Hope you liked it. Thank you.